in the uh, in the chat, and I've placed it also up in the uh, it's it's up in the pinned right now. Eventually, I will get smart enough to put the bracket link and the Matcherino link right. in the same pinned message. But all right, here we go. Classic sub and Katana. Yeah, they're just hopping right into it. It's uh, interesting. I think it's an interesting pick for Biggs, but I think um, Biggs is uh, Biggs has a very analytical mind when it comes to this game. So I, th I think he knows. Um, I think he. I think he knows what he's doing here with this pick, and we'll, we're going to find out. Yeah. Constant pressure. From yeah, Biggs. he's not let up. He, di he didn't let up. That was it. Good jump punch there by Truku into a throw by Kitana. Wouldn't be a bad way to die with Katana throwing you like that, you know? Oh, man. Uh, every time I watch MK1, that movie, you know, and uh, Sonya grabs Kano, I have to leave the room. It's too oh, much. All right. Looks like uh, Katana is, uh, well, Sub-Zero is trying to make it interesting, and Katana's going to take it 1-0. Uh, I think that's a good matchup, Katana versus uh, Classic Sub. I doubt Truku will change characters. No, I don't think he will. Nope. He is a he's a classic Sub Zero main, and he does play a pretty mean. Uh, he does play a pretty mean classic Sub. If he had swapped to you know unmasked Sub Zero, he might be able to keep her the pressure off of her with Ice Clone. Yep. And uh, I don't know if he'll be able to pull that off with tools uh, that's uh, massive Sub Zero has like a puddle and such. It's uh. <laughs> You know, Truku always told me before he started playing, he started you know, around here very often. He was like, the puddle's underused, and everyone thinks it's too reactionary. So, move it up. Uh, oh, okay. Go. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, but uh, he thinks the puddle's good. He thinks the puddle's good. And uh, let's see if he can use it to his advantage. Uh, He's not been having a very good run of it here against Katana. No, uh, and him and Biggs, they did some good casuals yesterday, but it was uh, a little laggy with this, the setup. So yeah, it was. Uh, we're playing on what 65-inch uh, Sony Bravia. Not. Oh, there we go. There's the ground ice. Let's see if he can lock him down in the C sub vortex. Oh, we got him in the corner. Oh, Biggs could have punished that. He was a little bit late. He's got him trapped in the corner. Oh, nice. Oh wow. Maybe he can keep this momentum for another another round. Very nice. Uh, very nice. Uh, round for uh, for sub. So Katana is just she's waiting for her opportunity to run. She's using the uh, she's using the fan as a shield uh, to uh, pro to help give her some free rush down. That instant air fan is uh, is deadly and it's it's basically it's basically a shield to run behind. And it also does damage, but it's a good shield to run behind. I'm kind of speechless almost watching that happen. Uh, I didn't even know you could use it like that, you know? Yeah. Yep. Biggs uses it very well. See that? Well, this is uh, this is match three, right? Yep. yep. We are 2-0 in favor of Biggs. Katana is just doing work. Yeah, Biggs is just not letting Truku get in at all. This no. is, and that's that's probably the best strategy because Sub Zero gets you caught in that vortex. Uh, it's it's big damage. Yeah, Truku wants to set him up, bait mm -hmm. him, and trap him. You know, he so he can get the freeze and get his combos off. But yep, Biggs is just not playing along. And he had an opportunity for big damage there when he uh, Biggs threw a, a, a ground fan instead of an air fan. Nice, very well done there by Truku. Now, Truku knows how to use those high kicks, man. He can kick you out of there all day. Yes. See, he's playing on pad right now. I think when he played UMK3 here in 2019. Oh, here comes the Vortex. Oh, maybe not. Good effort, though. Good effort. Um, I, I think when he played in 2019, he played on stick. Very nice job stuffing the fan. See, that's just, oh. that's just free rush. Using that fan like that is just free rush. It really is, man. He just wasn't playing along at all. It was Biggs just, like you said, very analytical, very much matchup, knew what he yep. knew what tools, uh, excuse me, Sub-Zero had, and he, he knew what tools he had, and he knew how to, how to use them. 